Hello, it's Nan Uplifting Others. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. So today I'll be sharing someone's story. So let's get right into it. I was living in foster care when I was a kid. I was small, so I got bullied, but I always tried to defend myself. One day, a few kids started picking on me and they pushed me around until one of them hit me. When I fell down, they kicked and beat me. Just when I thought it was over, they decided that I should be humiliated even more. They took my clothes off by force. Those kids saw that I had both male and female genitalia parts. They called me a freak, weirdo, girl, boy, and more. They wanted to hurt me even more for being different. They held me down and gang raped me. I was crying and begging them to leave me alone. They used me for both as a boy and as a girl. I was raped on multiple unrelated occasions by adults. I was mentally broken and called a freak of nature and all kinds of names that made me feel like I wasn't a person. After that, I tried to kill myself. I never knew that my abuse could get worse. I never knew my life could get worse. I was raped by men and women as a kid and I was used as a boy and girl until I no longer had both functioning gen genitals. Then there was one less part of me to suffer. I was born both male and female genders and I live as a man. I am and will, uh, will forever be a hermaph hermaphrodite. Um, wow. So I'll just read the definition of hermaphrodite. Wow. So I'll just read the definition of hermaphrodite so we can all get a picture. If you don't know what it is, hermaphrodite, a person having both male and female sex organs or other sexual characteristics, either abnormally or as a natural condition. So um, I have heard, well, they also call it, nowadays they call it intersex. Um, I'm sorry that you went through something like that. And, um, I'm kind of like, every story is the same, but different. We don't hear a lot of people talking about hermaphrodite. We don't hear people talking about intersex or they talk about it, but some people are not aware of it. And I feel like we just never know. We could look at somebody. How we can look at somebody and see one thing, but in reality, they have both. Or we don't know what's behind everything. Now, I'm trying to say things the right way and to get my point across. And I know people like like the, the man said he's a man. Um, that people call him a freak of nature and call him names and weirdo. Um, I just feel like for you in particular, for sharing your story, you're so brave, of course. That's the first thing I want to say. And secondly, you're not weird. You're not a freak of nature. You're unique. Um, and I'm sorry that you had to endure so much pain by kids. Like, it's so weird and so crazy and disheartening that kids, it, it doesn't matter, like, would do something like that to another kid, the age, I don't know the, the age difference, but I'm guessing that it was like older kids would do that to humiliate someone. Like who thinks about gang raping someone because they're different? Everyone is of course different, but to, I don't know, it's just like, <sighs> How can you do that? Why would you do that? And for the adults to hurt a child with both parts and to do unthinkable things is so heartbreaking. And I know that that this person has to go through a lot, meaning like being confused, like you have both parts, meaning you most likely had you could be either a boy or a girl a man or a woman you you have the whole you could be either one you know you could be both meaning i could be my you could you should be able to be yourself if you didn't want to be uh be one thing because you were both if you don't want to be one gender you could be both and 
it would be nothing wrong with that. But society has made it to where like it's it's weird for somebody to be different. And that's why people can't openly be themselves because they'll be called a freak of nature. People in particular, I'm talking about hermaphrodites or intersex people that have both parts, that have thought about being a male or female, but they feel like they have to, they have to be one because of society. And then on top of already being conflicted in your, in your brain and in your mind and your heart, you're being hurt on top of that. And pe adults or people in general are hurting you because you have both parts or because, I mean, it's not because of that. It's because people are, that hurt people like that are, of course, they're sick. Um, they're just predators and they, they just prey on whoever they can. But they, in this, this story in particular, it seems like they just preyed on that. They wanted to use that as an excuse to hurt, hurt you. Um, and that's never okay. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking like, how could you be so cruel? How can someone be so cruel or so evil to use someone's uniqueness against them and to make them feel less than because it's not the typical thing, not the typical or norm, so-called normal. Well, what is normal? What is, to, like, you know, what what is it? They're born, born with both parts and they feel, I'm, I'm guessing they feel less than, they feel unheard. And on top of that, they've been hurt. And just because he's now a man and he will always go by being hermaphrodite because that's what he is. How do you, how do you live? I mean, I'm not saying live, but how can, I don't know. Like I just, I'm trying to get my thoughts together as I'm, this is raw and uncut. This is me. And it's like, I always try to put myself in someone's shoes. Like, Whatever story that I share or whatever the case is, I put myself in that person's shoes and the hurt that they felt or still feel because of their abuse and them being different in a good way. But I can only imagine living day to day, the thoughts in their head that they're thinking because of what people have put in their head. Like, you're a weirdo, you're a freak, you're this and you're that. And you're trying to live a normal life. And you have to be a certain way because that's what society expects of you. And why can't you be who you are? You know what I mean? Like, who you are because you have both parts. And you... If you have both parts, like I said, you have to think like like a, like a female and think like a male. So you're pitting yourself. A lot of people put themselves in a box because of the way society will look at them. And it's not okay. And I want to bring awareness. This is the first story I ever got about hermaphrodite. And I'm honored to actually share their story. Not just their their rape story, but to bring awareness to them being a maphrodite and intersex, how we want to put it. Um, yeah, I know that it's hard. I'm just talking to whoever is a maphrodite or this person in particular. I know it's hard and I applaud you for sharing your story and I applaud you for living your life how you see fit for you. And don't ever feel like you're weird or you're a freak of nature. Um, you're just unique. And yeah, bringing awareness to who you are is a wonderful thing. And I'm honored to be a part of that. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.